in on January 8th, she's missing. Correct. She's never seen again. Correct. So she's filling out paperwork for, with a divorce lawyer on the 7th and goes missing on the 8th. It has been months since the disappearance of Maya Miliette, and you just watched Dr. Phil interview her sister and brother-in-law. And this afternoon, we are hearing more about what they have to say. Good afternoon. Welcome to The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. We're joined live by Mary Chris and Richard Droulet to follow up on their conversation with Dr. Phil and talk a, lot, a little bit more about the case and what's going on. First, we want to welcome both of you to The Four, and we appreciate your time based on these very tough circumstances. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you. This obviously, Mary Chris, has been a huge local story that we've been continuing to follow. But what is it like now to see this national spotlight put on the disappearance of your sister? Um, you know, it, it's it's a relief in, in a way, but um, not not a good circumstance to be on the national TV. But then again, you know, we do like. We do want that national exposure for my sister's story. Um, maybe somewhere, somehow, somebody still out there that maybe knows, you know, or have seen my sister, you know, not just locally, maybe in, you know, um, outside of, you know, the San Diego area or maybe national. So we are glad that Dr. Phil covered her story. We are humbled. And we just watched that interview, but that wasn't recorded today. That was recorded last week, probably sometime. I just was wondering if maybe you could fill us in if there have been any new developments, anything you've learned since you recorded the Dr. Phil show. Um, we, we did met with the Chula Vista Police Department last week, last Thursday, and the show was recorded on Monday. Um, but um, they just went over with us on the search efforts that we did. We were hoping they'll give us more information and maybe any updates or any leads, um, but they couldn't give us any at all. Um, so, you know, at, at this time, you know, we're still on day one, um, but uh, I know they're doing a lot more. Uh, there's more um, activities that we've been hearing from, you know, from the police um, that they've been doing on, on the in current investigation or my sister's case. Your sister has three children. Have anybody in the family had an opportunity to talk to the children? I know in the past few months, Larry has not allowed that to happen, but before that, did anybody have a chance to ask these children, what did they know, what did they see? No, no, since the beginning, uh, even a couple days or a few days um, that my sister went missing, he already told us not to be asking the kids um, of anything about their mom. So. Um, you know, we haven't really had any chance to talk to them at all if they knew anything about where their mom is or any information from them. So, and then after after that, even you know, couple couple weeks after, um, we uh, he blocked us out. Um, he stopped communicating with us. So we don't really know. Uh, just one more question before we let you go. We're, we're a little short on time. Uh, when this, as this has been playing out, you've had your thoughts of, of how it happened. Maya May was lo looking for a divorce, we understand. But is there any indication that she wanted it so bad that she felt like she needed to get away from her life? Oh, no. No, not at all. She's not a type of person that will just leave and forget everything and he'll she loves her kids her kids is her everything so even our family we are tight you know close family she's not going to leave us the way you know she did so something terrible happened to her she, she's not a type of person to just leave and forget everything well, gosh, our hearts and thoughts are yeah. with both of you during this terrible time in the search for Thank your sister, you. certainly for any answers. Please continue to keep us updated. And this is a story that we will not let go of until we know oh, what happened. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you for all so yeah, yeah, the thank support. You us thank you. Terrible time. Our, our thoughts go out to you. Mary Chris and Richard Droulet. Very, very difficult. Three months now. I can't imagine the pain they're in. Wondering. Just wondering. And not able to get your hands around those kids yeah. just oh, to see if they're doing okay. Make it okay. that much worse. It's just yeah. a tough story. We will continue to follow it.